Hi guys. Thanks for being here. I hope you're doing well, Leo. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. My name is Jenna. If you're new, welcome. I really love you guys. If you want to check out my Patreon for so much more, um, I have tons of pick of cards over there. Let's get to your reading without further ado, okay? So Leo, I was hearing Spirit tell me you guys are feeling very low vibrational right now, fearing change. You're really fearing a lot of change, which makes sense, you're a fixed sign, but fixed signs kind of, you know, sometimes they're a little bit stubborn. I love you, Leo, I do. My mom's a Leo, but damn, y'all be stubborn. So I really feel like right now, it's just a matter of like mind over matter for you. So let's see what this has to do with. Two of Wands, you're really stuck. You are stuck right there between two worlds, okay? She is like stuck between this wand and this wand. But you're like looking out the window hoping that there is something that can change and something can change. By the way, your hair looks good if you just got a haircut or have something done with it, okay? Let's see, what's your challenge at this time? Uh, two of Wands, what's challenging them? Knight of Wands, it's passion. It's passion. Something has kind of stirred your interest, but you're like, uh it's gonna be a big risk. That's what I'm hearing you say. It's gonna be a big risk. Could be a person, I suppose. We got Leo Sag Aries here, fire sign. Let's see what's your uh, foundational energy. What is the root of all of this right now? Ten of Swords. You're in pain, Leo. You're in pain. You really want things to get better and improve, but like you're really afraid of this change. Um, this change is big. It's gonna require a lot of effort, or so you think. But I think if you were to set your intentions, right? Some witchy vibes. If you were to set your intentions and be in the, the future, be in the future moment, what does it feel like to have your wish fulfilled? What does it feel like to get this? I feel like right now you're daydreaming. And if you were to stay in that daydreaming state, I feel like you'd find a lot more energy to get this done because you would be in the flow with universal energy, which can get you to that end result a lot easier. It's just kind of, it'll just flow better, okay? So what do we have in the recent past for you? Because it's the get up and go that you're having trouble with. It's not actually um, the idea. The idea is there, you're just lacking the passion. What it was in your past, recent past? The lovers, I knew it. It could be a person, Gemini, I suppose. Sagittarius here with her little bow and arrow. You know what triggered this? Some sort of really intimate interaction with someone could be an actual lover. It doesn't have to be, but something really passionate with the Knight of Wands and the lover, something got triggered here for you, Leo. And now you cannot stay in safe base. You can't do that anymore. It's like, you need to get a home run. And you've got a home run in the past. Whoever this is, a sexy, sexy hunk of burning love. You got a home run. Something really triggered and passion, triggered this passion in you but it's gonna be risky and I'm hearing you say that. So stop saying it's gonna be risky. No, it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be full of fire, full of enjoyment, full of lust, full of, woof, child, full of a lot of things. Okay, what are your hopes and dreams at this time? King of Cups, you want this person. If this is a person, you want them because you're like madly in love or something, Leo. You want it to go back to the, the way it was in the past. You want it to go back to ooh la la, not oh no nah, na. Nah. That's what you want, Leo. And you can totally have that, but you're gonna have to admit that you want this risk. You want to step out of your comfort zone. It's just, it is a fear. It's a fear of the unknown. Okay, what's coming in in the future for Leo to help them along? Three of Pentacles. Um, you might actually open up to this person or someone else about the fact that this did cause you some passion. It might be hard for you to discuss it right now, but I think ultimately you might discuss with somebody that this really, really piqued your interest. Somebody might have offered you something or somebody might have, you know, I don't know what it is, but somebody made you happy, happy, okay? And I think in the future, you're going to either work with this person or talk to someone else about the situation. Like you won't have to keep this a secret anymore. You won't have to feel scared to express how emotionally available you are towards this person or situation, whatever it is. What, uh, what don't you see right now? What are you blind to? Oh my God, six of cups. This could be your soulmate. This could be a soulmate. This could be somebody that you really feel a kindred spirit bond with. Does not have to be romantic. You might even talk to this person about it. Two sixes here. Oh, I'm a big fan. I like this. I do. I like this. Um, 
why am I getting though this apprehension in telling this person that this is what you think? Maybe this person isn't telling you what they think. All right, let's get a little bit more. What don't you know with the Six of Cups? Yep, Two of Swords. You don't know that this person's in their head about you too. So that might be why there's this hesitation. So you have the Two of Wands and I think this person's over here with the Two of Swords. So you're both in your head about this. Huh. Yep, Six of Pentacles, the third six. I knew I loved it, guys. I think this is like soulmate energy here. Three sixes for me. Oh, that's a good number. That is a good number. I think, you know, I think that religion did a fantastic job at brainwashing us to believe that 666 means something, but it does. It does. It does mean something, but I also see it differently here um, and that this is like a soulmate connection. There was like, and this, if it's a friend, they're still in your soul family, I feel. Um, what is it you will soon learn? What will Leo soon, soon learn, please, Spirit? There it is, Ten of Cups. That this person is like really, 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 really into you. Really into you. But they're scared, too. You guys are mirroring each other. You're both afraid. <laughs> both afraid to let it in. You both are afraid to admit that this makes you incredibly happy and emotionally fulfilled. Uh, overall advice for this reading. Eight of Swords. Overall advice, get out of your head. If this person were to tell you today, well, I'm sorry, I don't really have feelings. What's the worst that can happen? I feel like right now to kind of get out of this, I'm going to be honest, it's kind of counterintuitive, but I'm hearing you need to imagine the worst case scenario and then think about what you would say to it. So if, for instance, this Eight of Swords came to life, if it came to be that they actually dumped you, what would happen? The worst case scenario is you pick yourself up and you love yourself again and you say, you know what? That's your loss. Have a good one. So right now your advice is to really kind of go into the shadow and be like, okay, yeah, they could dump me. They could. Yes, they could. And I'm sorry you didn't expect that for this reading. <laughs> they could. They totally could. They could walk away. But your advice is to look it right in the eye and say, oh, well, guess it wasn't meant to be then if that's the case and once that happens you take the power from this person from the breakup from anything you take the power and you give it back to yourself so right now what I'm getting for you Leo is this person actually strongly feels the same way but you're both mirroring each other and that you're you're both terrified so let's get some uh tarot here actually you know what I'm gonna get hmm? I'm gonna get an oracle card yeah yeah, let, let us. Let us do that, okay? We're going to get the soul, the soul's journey lesson cards. Wow, relationships on the bottom. There it is. See? Okay. How does Leo's person feel about this connection? <laughs> death. <laughs> they are scared to death is what I'm hearing. They feel also that something in the past was way better. They feel it was way better in the past when you guys could like openly express things. Some shit got in the way. I don't know what it is, but something got in the way. The passion has kind of died out. They feel also afraid to death that it might end. This literally says, I'm learning that endings are merely beginnings. They are afraid also that it's ending. What do they think about this connection? Love, I told you. They feel the same way, guys. They're just mirroring your everything is you pushed out every single thing is you pushed out okay you're mirroring each other because you manifested each other you're at the same vibrational level half of you is terrified the other half is passionately in love it's like you got to figure this out leo and i really suggest going deep into what if i know it's counterintuitive and most you know people who teach manifestation probably wouldn't tell you this but it's better to get it out in five minutes than it is to stay for the next eight weeks in your head about this. I would for five minutes sit down and say, what if? Yes, they could dump me. They totally could. This could, have, this could be wrong. That We could break up. Yeah, it could happen. And in that five minutes, you will relieve so much pressure and finally hear your ego. You'll, you'll hear the fear. And by doing that, you can finally move on with your life. Wow, I love that. I got to get that on a t-shirt. Hear the fear. And move on to, I don't know, I, I gotta really figure that out. Anyway, thank you guys for being here. I love you so much. Check out my Patreon. Okay, I love you, Leo. I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.